How's everybody doing? Um, today I'm going to take a look at another strap by this fabulous company, Armilla. Um, these guys make extremely high quality, um, like seat belt style material NATO straps that are extremely comfortable. They are longer, which I like for people with um, a little bit larger wrists. Like my wrists aren't huge, they're about seven and a quarter, but between that and the movable keepers, I can really fine tune uh, one of their NATO straps to fit me perfectly. They're, in my opinion, uh, the best I've tried so far. That's counting Alpha Shark, Blue Shark, whatever, um, and, uh, and quite a few other companies. So I'd done a review on these and Armilla actually sent me a message, which shocked me because I, you know, my YouTube channel is tiny and not that big of a deal, but, uh, somehow they saw it and offered me a single pass because in the video I mentioned, you know, it's a little thick. Personally, it doesn't bother me. Um, some people it might, it, so they want to know if I would wanted to take a look at the, uh, single pass. And I said, sure. They sent it to me. I mean, super great responsive people. Um, I haven't really talked to anyone over there personally, but, um, just from my experience so far dealing with them, I, they're a fantastic company. I wouldn't hesitate to purchase anything from them. And I'm not just saying that because they gave me this, because I paid for two of these, um, besides the ones that were given to me, just because I liked them that much, I wanted extras. Um, so, on my SKX, because much like most watch collector, nerds, whatever, um, if you have an SKX in your collection, I, I doubt that it's, you know, it might go on leather. It's probably never on uh, metal very often unless you have a strap code for it. Strap codes look okay, but this watch is my, uh, this is my NATO watch. Now, since you guys will watch Armilla, um, here's what I like. I like that it's thinner. It's exactly what you told me it would be, and it is the fantastic quality that you put out on the other ones but one thing i've learned is on this i would wear this on like a hamilton khaki field it's a little it's okay on here but this watch feels a little heavy to me um on this strap but as far as knocking down the thickness i mean look how thin that is you can't complain about that it has the movable uh, keeper so you can really tune it in the uh, like tang I guess you want to call it that on these is phenomenal I say it's better than uh, blue shark or alpha shark in my opinion um, and I've also purchased those with my own money this is the first company that's ever given me anything um, to review so anything that you guys have seen me review be it guns holsters watches um unless i specify that you know they were lent to me by like rob at the random rob channel i have purchased them with my own cash so anyway but once again they come through and make a longer strap which i prefer because my wrists like I said, they're not huge, about seven and a quarter, but most NATO straps, it's like they fall just a little short and somehow Armilla has gotten these holes basically in the perfect spot for my wrist. And I have always kind of had a hard time with that on a NATO. It's like you, you can't get that perfect, that perfect, uh, fit. Uh, some people can, my wrists are just a little off maybe, but one thing I can say is when it comes to money, the quality that you're getting from these guys for the money is fantastic. Um, and not to knock on anybody in particular, but 
this stuff is so high above like Risk Candy Watch Club and whatever. And I know a lot of people like their stuff because they're cheap. Um, I will gladly pay more for an Armilla. Uh, I, I don't care if it was four times as much. I would pay for their strap over like a Risk Candy Watch Club or some of the other cheap straps because the quality and the, uh, excuse me, and the feel is that much better. I mean, look at how perfectly rounded and finished off that is. This one, the other one, I've worn the crap out of this and it has a little bit of fraying. Honestly, I expect that out of, out of a uh, NATO. So to me, not a big deal. I literally, no joke, I put these, I take two quarters and put a quarter on each side and get it lined up and I just run a lighter over it and it seals it right back up for people, you know, if your NATOs are starting to fray and you're new to um, new to NATO straps and watches or whatever, if generally if you take one of these, if it would focus, that'd be awesome, and just put a quarter on each side and hit it with a lighter, it'll clean it right back up. But um, like I said, the strap, there's nothing wrong with the strap at all. I wore, I, I wear everything before I review it. Um, and I wore this one for a little bit. I don't think that you could make it stiffer and still have that nice, the, the nice softness that this has and the sheer feel. Like I said, it's like, like a seatbelt. I, I just don't think you can stiffen this up and still have that. Um, so it's just going to be nature of the beast there, I think. So I'm going to my notice uh this watch it's i reviewed uh well i not this particular watch but i have reviewed uh another notice i had i'm gonna throw this strap on this watch and the nice thing is about it being so thin is notice like this is the only watch company i've had this issue with where the pin is versus where the uh end of the case is right here it's super thin like you would have to struggle to get this in there which is too bad because I really like this strap, but you really got to yank. Now for anything Seiko you got, it's not going to matter. Seiko's, you know, I don't, I don't think there's, once again, I don't think there's a better strap for the money. Uh, and I've had a ton of them. I'm not going to mention the other companies I've done here. I may do a review on their stuff. Um, but literally, since I've started using these Armilla straps, I have not used any other strap by anybody. So I will leave a link in the description down here if you guys can agree with me, disagree with me. If you think there's another company that makes something this nice for the money, by all means, I'm more than happy to check them out. Um, but... For my money, Armilla, you guys did it. I mean, you do a great job, and I think you know you do. Uh, I really appreciate you guys sending this over. Once again, I think I've already said it, but I will leave a link in the description to um, the website for these guys. Uh, they are out of uh, the UK, out of England, and it's a great product for the money. I, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. If you are, um, please tell me whose straps you're using where you would find anything made by this company to be disappointing because I just can't. I mean, even, so this is like their higher end, I guess, looking to me. That nice huge tang on this one also. I mean, they're just, these things are built like, this is almost like you, like you would find on a leather strap. It's that heavy duty. Same thing with this one, even though the, um... The strap itself is, con like, to me, considerably thinner. I mean, they're still, you know, popping that high-quality, heavy-duty hardware on there. And it's really nice. It's uh, hard to beat it, I think. Um, and Armilla, I mean, if you guys... I'll keep checking your website, but if you guys are going to come out with anything else that's cool, um, do you think I might like, hit me up. And uh, I'll gladly purchase it with my own money. I, mean, I think you guys are absolutely worth every penny. So, 
If you want to try them, check them out. If you're a NATO guy, highly recommend it. Everybody have a good day.